Hello and welcome to this quick demo project. In this video, we demonstrate several features of the HashiCore Vault Connector developed by Rixton, which enables developers the ability to handle secrets such as login, password, security tokens, etc., and all within the Vault platform on MuleSoft Anypoint Runtime. HashiCore Vault Connector version 2, like its previous version, includes the following operations read, write, configure, list functions, and delete functionality. It also includes three new properties. It uses Vault's HTTP API without relying on any other external libraries beyond the Java standard library, and it supports multiple secret engines and authentication methods. In this simple demo, we show how to create and retrieve credentials from the Vault platform and how to log in to Amazon Web Services using the Vault connector while utilizing the auth method. To do this, we have to create a new Mule project and add a new RAML file containing the API. Add a secret into the Vault server container. List existing paths in the container and read the secret. Read from an existing user with an auth method. Then configure and check an AWS lease. Next, we generate the flows from the REST API. Here we create a new connector configuration for the Vault connector. Select Vault SSL connection config and complete the connection properties. The token, the HTTPS address and the path to the JKS trust store file. In each connector, we set the desired method to execute in the flow. Let's start the meal server. Now the server is up and running, let's try each API. OK, let's execute a request to the API to add a secret. Set the URL to API KV add. Set the content type to application JSON. Set the body. This includes the container, the path, and a JSON file with the secret. Now we send. And then check that the response is 204. Perfect. Now let's make a request to list secrets and read a secret API. Set the URL to API KV read secret and send. Check the response body. And again, this works fine. Now let's make a request to read an existing user API. Set the URL to API user pass read. Set the content type to application JSON. Set the body and send. Check the response body and perfect. Now we make a request to configure an Amazon Web Service lease and check the result. Set the URL to API AWS lease. Set the content type to application JSON. Set the body and send. Notice here that the JSON response includes the data that we configured. And the results are just as expected. That's it. Thanks for watching.